Hey guys. Um, welcome. It's September, uh, September um, 17th. Um, so I got my lovely Cinderella dress in the mail, obviously. Um, but I had wanted to spice it up a little bit. I was considering adding some more sparkles to it, but I think I, I think I'm gonna do that. But I have to have an expert help me with that one. Um, but what I did want to do was um, kind of accent the butterflies on the top because I was looking at the butterflies and they're just kind of like a blue and a white, kind of a dark blue and a stark white. And I was looking at the movie one and she has a lot of sparkles going on. And so I was, I went through millions of different things trying to figure out how can I add sparkles to this? You know, what is their glitter paint? Blah, 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 blah. In the end, I ended up realizing that this glitter nail polish was actually like the perfect, the perfect um, uh, fit for what I needed. Um, it was it's especially perfect because, I mean, the butterflies are only about this big. Uh, it needs a, it doesn't need a long drying time and, you know, a nail polish uh, brush is very easy to control. So, um, I was, I've done two of them and I'm, I'm happy with the result. It, it takes time and I do have a lot, <laughs> but I am happy with the two that I've done. I've done both of them on white butterflies. I haven't tried it on the blue yet. Um, but I am happy with what I have done so far. So I can show you a color. Um, I tested out on, on like uh, pieces of paper to uh, show you the different colors. I got a bunch of different colors of uh, ranging from blues to like just kind of sheer sparkly, not silvers because I didn't really want silver. There wasn't really silver, but like um, just kind of like a sheer sparkly color that kind of had a different dimension of sparkle, sparkle. <clears throat> and that turned out really pretty. So um, I'll show you those guys. So on white, this is how these turned out. And the one that I did on white uh, has been this one. And that looks super pretty. It kind of matches with the dress color. And this one, I think it was. I think I did this one. Yeah, and this one. Um, <sighs> The most difficult thing is that you do have to do both the front and the back of the butterfly. So making sure that you don't get it on the dress is kind of your hardest issue. I have sparkle on my fingers because of this and it's, yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna be having sparkles all over the place and I've got napkins and everything. Now on blue, it looks, different. Things definitely look different. I had a piece of blue cardstock and this is about the same color as the blue butterflies I would say. And so these are how it comes out. And I, I like I like how it shines like in different lights. Especially these last colors. These are the ones that are um those kind of like silver finishing colors. So I feel like I might just put like some of those like over like as a sheer top over the blue. I might do like one dark blue and one like light one of these on like the uh, blue butterflies and maybe one of these because it matches so well with it. Um, but I think I'll probably put it like this as like a sheer top coat. I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with the back of the, I'm experimenting with the back of the dress before doing anything on the front of the dress because, I mean, yeah, I mean, most people I think are gonna be looking at the front of the dress, so yeah, that's how that's gonna work. Um, I will not be <laughs> having you watch this entire, me doing this because believe me, it takes a very long time to do just one butterfly, let alone any a lot of them but I can give you updates on how I'm doing um don't even think I'll get it all done today depends on my patience and how I'm doing 
probably just going to start binge watching TV shows, movies. Right now I'm watching Jungle Cruise. I went to see it in theaters and I really liked it. It's so cheesy but really fun. Um, it's like Indiana Jones, some Pirates of the Caribbean, and if you're old like me, you'll know the movie Romancing the Stone. It's kind of got a little bit of that in it too. And uh, Emily, uh, oh my god, Emily Blunt is just amazing. She's super cool. So yeah, I, I I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it to the point where I um, bought it on Amazon Prime, and I watched it like two times, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I ended up liking it a lot. I, I literally like went home, and I was like, I really wanna watch that again, and I'm like, but I don't wanna wait till it like comes out, you know, on DVD or anything, so I'm like, all right, I'll just buy it on Amazon Prime. Um, so yeah, I'm in the process of this, with my dress, I'm hoping to do some, I got some crystals, but I do need to steam the dress. And I don't have a steamer, so I need to see if I can borrow my friend's steamer, if they have it. If not, I'll just buy one, because I can probably use it sometime in my life. I mean, I should probably own one anyway. Um, I need to like steam the inside portion. Um, and there's some, I do need to make it a little bit shorter. I need to get it made a little bit shorter in the arms, like like I said last time around. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd give you an update on my, my Cinderella dress. And I am really excited about it. I think that the, the butterflies are going well, even though I've only done two of them. I am liking them because I was just kind of like, I liked them. I, Definitely liked the butterflies, but I did want it to add a little bit more color and different depth to it. And I think this is definitely gonna make it pop a little bit more. So I'm excited. And I will show you the result when it comes to it. I don't know when that's going to be because, you know, I don't know when I'm gonna have time how many days I'll have time to do it and stuff like that. But I'm gonna get it done as quickly as possible. Um, thank God I got this dress when I did. This is why I start my planning my my uh my um Halloween costumes super early because if I don't, then I'll never get it done. If I would have started this in October, there's no way I would have gotten it done. No way. So I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.